<laughs> Little Richard's awesome. He ages like a wax figure. Like he's looked the same since like 1955. <clears throat> he's underrated. And he's been in the closet this whole time. Do you know how hard it is? It's hard enough being gay. It's harder to be in the closet your entire life till into your 80s. That's insane. Just fucking suck a dick on TV already. Axl Rose is overrated. I fucking hate Guns N' Roses. I think they're a bunch of fucking racist bigots. Listen to that fucking song. I almost said Birth of a Nation. It's called One in a Million, but it might as well be Birth of a Nation. <laughs> uh, I'd rather put, break open an old thermometer and pour mercury in my ears than have that shit go into my brain. On a motherfucking plane. Snakes. 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 Snakes are overrated. Anytime someone's like, I have a pet snake, I'm like, oh, that's fucking boring. No, it's cool, they eat mice. What, you like watching mammals get tortured, you fucking sociopath? Fuck you, motherfucker. I gotta be more angry this year. I think that's what I need. I think that's what the kids want, and I think that's what I need to do, Theo. No, snakes are chill. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Snakes are chill AF. Let me say Jesus is underrated. Jesus was black, he was Jewish, he was a lesbian, and he was Muslim and transgender. So a lot of Christians have a hard time accepting that, but that's the truth, and I have the documents to prove it. Statue of Liberty is overrated. They're like, oh, it's a gift from the French, because France didn't want it. They were like, here's our garbage, I mean gift. Liberty's just one of those fake buzzwords Republicans use in speeches to get voters aroused. We ought to stand up for liberty. Who's, who's standing against liberty? Who's like, enough of this liberty? <laughs> These liberals, they don't want liberty. <laughs> They're anti-liberty. But, um... Yeah, fuck snakes. Three Eleven is underrated. They're like my favorite band in the fucking world. I like the one that goes down 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 down. Gia, I'll let you in on a little secret season finale of the Eric Andre Show is 311. We finally investigate 311. Three, I'm a 311 truther. Chucky from Child's Play is overrated. I think in the 80s he was terrifying because I actually had a doll that looked like that. But he fell into the same trap that Freddy Krueger and the Crypt Keeper, they always did these like really corny, hammy dad jokes and puns that like did not age well and be like, I guess that's why you call it dead on arrival. <laughs> and be like, uh, okay, I get it. That's like not funny. You fucking asshole. You're a murderer too, fuck you. Butt implants are gross. What happened in your childhood that you gotta, first of all, you want butt implants, just eat cheesecake. Just eat a burger. <laughs> just like sit around. You'll have butt implants in no time. I think Eddie Eddie was just overrated. It's kind of one note. It was so predictable. I want to see like an episode where Wiley Coyote like violently, savagely tears Roadrunner apart, like catches him and like tortures him in a basement for like years and like sodomizes him and like pulls out his feathers one by one and just fucking eats him alive. Like you know, f cuts his dick off and barbecues it and eats it like that German computer technician did to that guy that he found on Craigslist or whatever. I want like an awful fucking slow, painful death for the Roadrunner. Fuck the Roadrunner, <laughs> for sure. Sammy Hagar! Do -do 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 
I'm Sammy Hagar. He should put out a song that goes, Drink my tequila, fuck you, David Lee Roth. Woo, 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 woo. Come on, suck my little ass penis hole and drink tequila from the tip of my nipples. Yeah, baby, baby. Cabo Wabo, yeah. Then I would listen to him. <laughs>